And now then, still to come, we're counting down to the new series of this. Never argue with crazy, son. This time I say, go with your gut. <laughs> International Rescue is back on our screens this weekend. Helping the Tracy brothers is their grandma, actress Sandra Dickinson talks. Thunderbirds return. It is eight minutes to eight. Fifty years after its first television debut, The Fabulous Five are back again as Thunderbirds returns to our screens this weekend. I absolutely loved it last series. Did you really love it? Loved it, loved it, yeah. Joining us this morning, though, is the brilliant actress, Sandra Dickinson, who is the voice of Grandma Tracy. And she looks a bit like you, doesn't she? <laughs> uh, in the ITV series, which has launched uh, earlier this year. Let's take a look at her in action. Please tell me you've got something. Scott, I, uh, I have an idea but it's n not what you might consider rational. Never argue with crazy, son. This time I say, go with your gut. <laughs> Kale, I want you to try something. I want you to unbuild the station. You want me to what? If we can amplify the disruption signal from the saboteur's device, theoretically, we should be able to completely destroy the hotel. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Sandra's here with us. So that was you. That's your character. Good morning, by the way. Good morning. Good Lovely morning. to see you. Good morning. That's your character. Yes, I'm playing Grandma Tracy. Grandma Tracy. Yes. And uh, am I right in thinking that when they designed Grandma Tracy, they wanted her to look a little bit like you as well? Well, I, it looks quite different from the original series, yes. Grandma. Um, I still don't think I look quite like it's her. the hair it's the hair <laughs> isn't it no, no. if you put some glasses, the glasses on yeah <laughs> yes i nearly wore my glasses but i thought i'd give you a break <laughs> you're on television too. and so so when they approached you and said would you come and be a part of, of well Thunder i Earth? auditioned i auditioned a, a very heated audition because people were you know very much wanting to play the part so. really yeah and i got it I, how did you convince them what was your well, i was just magnificent you were... <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously Rightly so, yeah. because they understand yeah no it's a really lovely thing to work on it's so such a revered show mm. yes. that when they did the new version, we were all like hanging on to I, I which is something I said before, it's like a Ming vase, sort of passing this Ming vase. <laughs> yeah. you know. Don't drop it. But it's like doing a, a radio show. We're all in a line in the booth, you know, chatting amongst ourselves, doing the characters sort of as if we it was were live. live. So yeah. like a play rather than yeah. sort fantastic. of individual doing Yeah, yeah. no, it's lovely. And everybody on it is so nice. So it's And a you've real got pleasure. such a history with sci-fi, haven't yeah, you? We yeah. were going through your potted <laughs> biography this morning. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Yeah, about years ago somebody said my voice was like something that the Radiophonic Workshop had concocted. <laughs> and I think that's kind of added to it. But. So there was hitchhikers? There's Hitchhikers, The Tomorrow People, first of all. The yeah. People. Yeah, and then Hitchhikers and then uh, Superman? Superman and Supergirl. And I mean, I've just everything, just you know. Doctor um, Who, of course, had a indeed. big impact on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Just... I married five, and my daughter you married, married ten. <laughs> Hang and on. My daughter's a time lady, <laughs> and my daughter married her father. And you know, the fans are. Hang like, on, just go go. So you scene. married? There, Mr. There's Doctor Five. That's Doctor Who number five. Yeah, there I you are there. Him. Yeah, and then your daughter married Doctor, Doctor Who, Who number, number 10. 10. David, David Tennant. Tennant. David yeah. Tennant. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's like so a, you're a Doctor Who's mother-in-law? I am. Amazing. <laughs> I am. And I have a lot in common with Grandma Tracy because I'm also a grandmother. And you're a grandma too. Yeah. What's the reaction? So, as a, I mean, how old are your grandkids now? Uh, of varying ages. I, I don't really talk about them because they're so but private. Do they, really. But have they enjoyed um, the Thunderbirds and the remake? Yes, Because that? yes. that's the point, isn't it? Being able to do stuff that actually the grandkids... Yeah. I find yeah. this now, as my boys are getting a little bit older, it's yeah. lovely to share things that you've done with yeah. them. Yeah, I showed my granddaughter a little bit of Hitchhikers the other day and she was... Just fascinated, so I'll have to get her the box. Well, it is there. quite crazy, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the hitchhiker is yeah, very different. Yeah, yeah. And we were saying there was an advert that you did where it was so prophetic in the 80s. Where, what was it? It was something to do with a watch. It was and for you... prestige saucepans, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> no, well, anyway, um, saucepan advert. Yeah, yeah, saucepan yeah. Advert. my ex. People will remember it. Yes, well, my ex was doing the main part of it. Doctor and then, Who, as yeah. an afterthought, they said, oh, could you just do the tagline? So I said, oh, OK, sure. And of course, I've been haunted by that tagline. Which was? Uh, you can put, you the, put the dinner, dinner on, on, I'll be at home in 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Which yeah. I love. But the thing that was so exciting yes. about it was that, that he was talking into a watch phone. Indeed. And now for only £400. <laughs> <laughs> you only for a free one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant Fabulous. stuff. Sandra, thank you so much for coming in and talking pleasure, to us this pleasure. morning. Best luck with the new series. I didn't series. say half the things I wanted to say. Well, you'll have to come back and say them again. I'll come back tomorrow. There you go. That'd be fun. We'd have you on every day. I love listening to you. Lovely to see you.
Lucy, fantastic. thank you so thank much you. for coming. Uh, new series. New series you'll be watching, won't we? Uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Hey, Thunderbirds, I'll go. 8.30 Saturday yeah, on CRTV and ITV yeah. as well. Saturday morning. They put it in the mornings. It was early evening. It was in evening, early evening, afternoon. wasn't it? But the mornings now, so make sure you get your time change. Yeah, thank absolutely. You so uh, let's take a look at the weather. Here's Laura.